A big change for millions of people who get door-to-door -door mail delivery. Canada Post says it's phasing out home delivery over the next five years. Up to 8,000 jobs will be eliminated. Canadian households that currently receive home delivery will be switched to community mailboxes. Canada Post says ending home delivery will provide the company with savings of up to $900 million a year. The body of Nelson Mandela is now lying in state. For the next three days, Mandela's flag-draped casket will lie in the amphitheatre of the government buildings overlooking Pretoria. Mandela's family and foreign dignitaries were first to view his body. People waited for hours to pay their respects. On Saturday, Mandela's body will be flown to his home village of Kunu. He will be buried on Sunday. They say. The man who provided sign language at yesterday's memorial for Nelson Mandela is being called a fake. That's according to the National Director of the Deaf Foundation of South Africa. He says the man was moving his hands around without any meaning. A complaint was launched against the man last year after he provided fake sign interpretation at an event attended by South African President Jacob Zuma. South Africa's government says it's investigating. Time magazine has named Pope Francis its Person of the Year. The magazine credits him with shifting the message of the Catholic Church and for re-engaging millions who had become disillusioned with the Vatican. The title is given to the person the magazine believes had the biggest impact on the world this year, good or bad.